descend. Prepare. Evacuate. Time to press ahead. How high? Let's get going. Is anyone else's tadpole squirming around a little more than usual? Aye. Feels like something down here has them excited. Or scared. Another step forward. Better not be cursed. No longer a background murmur. The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We've found it. The Absolute is behind this door. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I've played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. So you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Border's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of Thor! One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence, enslaved by mere mortals. Look at that crown. It radiates with power unlike anything I've ever seen. To have it. To hold. Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. I must do as Mistra commands. 
What choice do I have? More than just a goddess counts with my courage. Whole worlds hang in the balance. I do trust you. More than myself right now. Perhaps even more than Mistra. I... I have no desire to end your life, you know that. To end it? To struggle on? It is a grave choice you're making for us both. But if it must be so... Very well. I'll stand down to stand by you. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard. The Absolute. Who oh, preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. <laughs> Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way! Predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. The very fact of your being attests to its power. Despite your infection, you resisted the brain here in the heart of its domain. What good is an army of thralls if they do not obey their master? Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned, her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. Yes. Join the army of the dead, true soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory. Knight Song's in that 
cage. Kethrick will keep getting back up. Attack, soldiers! Yes, of course. This is the easy part. Might as well. Back in 
inside your cage! Dresses. Life to my life! 
us all. But not today. My sword, my fealty. Do what you must, then we fly this foul place. The Chosen of Merkel. Permanently this time. Ketherick's Netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To a temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. I believe you fought and defeated an avatar of Merkel, the god of necromancy. A remarkable feat. Ketherick was Merkel's chosen. I know Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver. He is a worshipper of Bane, 
the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Which means, the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are chosen of the dead three. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together, and with those stones, and that crown... I dare not imagine what they might achieve. The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Netherese. These Chosen are powerful indeed to have such magic in their command. Hope is a luxury for those who have a choice. This is the battle of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an Elder Brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into Mind Flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the Brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Survive it. 
Nathaniel. We should not I linger here. Him. The cults are here. <laughs> I can't help but feel like I've been fumbling in the dark for too long. And I've just had a lit torch thrust into my hands. The crown! The one the Elder Brain was wearing! The one I very nearly destroyed. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete, that I didn't even recognize it at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power, the ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but no matter, it exists. I must learn more of it. That crown sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, We'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep, Sorceress Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. Ha! Sorceress Sundries is no mere trading post. It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. I mean, nether East texts are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. something to ask. I will never tire of sitting on dead men's thrones. My blood ran hot when we broke Ketherick's bones together. We have greater challenges ahead of us. It is clear now that he was not working alone. During my time in the cult, I came to know one of his co-conspirators all too well. Baal's blood letter, Orin. To think. I thought her to be speaking for the Absolute. I worshipped that woman. You make it sound so simple. She is the Chosen of Baal, Lord of Murder, and one of the cult's founders. Indeed. She is the one who indoctrinated me with the Absolute's lies. When I first visited Moonrise, I stood before the Absolute in awe. It was more of an idea than an entity. Pure love. Total power. Oren was by my side. 
She told me that God had chosen me to be a true soul, blessed and adored. Now I know that those memories are lies. There was no God. Orin held me down in a cocoon of flesh, while a mind flayer forced a parasite into my brain. And she laughed at my fear. I will find her. I will murder her. And I will smile. Let them think that. There is a short path from savior to ruler. A short and bloody path. I know it well, and we will walk it together. But Baldur's Gate is a mere bauble. We have the chance to see something much greater. Surely you see it. In killing Catherick, we fractured the cult's leadership. When we break the other Chosen and claim their Netherstones, we can take control. <laughs> I would have thought this entire conspiracy of gods and monsters to be impossible if I had not seen it for myself. We may fail, but we must try. The power of the enslaved Elder Brain could reshape the world. We could reshape the world. Nothing worthwhile ever came without loss. But together we have the strength to decide who loses and to make sure it is not us. You are not stupid. When we reach Baldur's Gate and face the other Chosen, you will see that my way is the right one. The Elder Brain is the only thing that has ever managed to change my mind. You're welcome to try. We are bound, then, to travel together, even if we do not yet agree on our ultimate purpose. There is yet one thing about you that troubles me, though. Something I need you to explain. Why come to Moonrise, where the cult's power is strongest? Why not walk away? Good. That is as it should be. Now, I am ready to leave this damned place whenever you give the word. The city awaits! A curse lifted. The dead three allied once more. The balance shifts. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? I shall ask yet again, do illithids possess souls? No, nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet, the three 
Amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake, and the gods shudder. No. When Duke Elton formed the Flaming Fist, he sought out people of courage and honor to fill its ranks. You saved Daniel, lifted the curse, and killed an immortal. It's safe to say you'd have been recruited in an instant. Of course, I have no idea what life is like under Duke Ravengarth's rule. But I've seen the respect he inspires in the Flaming Fist. And that tells me all I need about him as a leader. I hope you can save Duke Ravengarth. For the good of Baldur's Gate. When this land fell to the curse, I should have gone with it. Thaniel is the only reason I survived. It's only fair I stay here and wait for him to awaken. You too, my friend. Thank you. From Thaniel and I. I'm here. And... and so are you. And my father, he... He can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. That somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. No dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing.
there you are. This is Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? We look forward to it. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. <laughs>